when they're going to do a innovation or um, you know creative storming session, they basically remove the backstop of time um, off the back of the the meeting or the workshop. So, you know, they might say we're going to start our meeting at two p.m., but you guys need to commit that you're not going to have to leave in one hour's time or you know two hours time we're here until we've generated what we need to generate today we're providing the space and that's a pretty interesting concept Mm. and it's 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 certainly something that doesn't mesh too well into what we see as the corporate way of life i think it needs to be modeled from the top too you got to see the people at the top make those mistakes and i think that's something that they do at pixar pretty well um with John Lasseter and and everybody at this kind of high end creative, yeah. Well, and the those guys are very much on the ground. You know, they're they're in the mix. Yeah, they're in the trenches. Yeah, and I think that's um, that's that's super important and something that we gets drummed into certainly out what our career paths were originally um, in the engineering space, mate. Yeah, so it's definitely strongly strongly encouraged to I think spend I, time I, on site we, we, when you say strongly encouraged I think you mean forced <laughs> forced mandatory is that you have to go and experience it on the ground and and that's um integral to your learning and and people won't respect you if you haven't been out there and and done it yourself uh, it's kind of part of the culture I think it's a very Australian thing actually I, I, but I suspect that's the case everywhere too you know, I, I would suspect that over in the States or over in the UK, if you've come out of graduated, you come out, the first thing you're doing is you're being on, on the site. I think um, some of my some of my colleagues um, from Ireland, at least, they started out as, there's this idea of like starting out as surveying. They do a lot of surveying. Initially. Yeah, that happens in England too. Yeah. But I think that, that you know, tall poppy syndrome is an Australian saying and, you know, People, there's a great quote from this book uh, to Brooke re- written by Peter Fitzsimons uh, about the Australians fighting in alongside the English and others in uh, World War Two in Tobruk and they held off the Germans and it was this kind of famous story. Now, there's uh, probably a lot of propaganda in this book, I felt, <laughs> reading it, <laughs> but it was a Really good, interesting read. And don't 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 let that get in the way of a good story, though, mate. That's right. So there's a story in it that I seem to have stuck with me. Where there's a bunch of Aussies digging trenches in the hot Egyptian sun, um, and they, you know, all there with their shirts off, um, with shovels, just mm. middle of the day, sun beating down, and this bunch of English uh, soldiers walks up including this captain and he's pristinely dressed, you know, with all the bells and whistles, you know, ironed everything, you know, fully decked out. I actually thought there was like a brigade of captains, you know. (laughs) There's like a few of them. Well, I think there was this one particular one who came up and said, you Australians, you know, they just kept digging as these English people walked past and one of the captains goes, hey, you salute us, you know. Um, where are we are your superiors you, you know you must follow the chain of command and one of the Aussie guys puts down his uh, shovel gets out of the thing goes and grabs his shirt slowly puts it on and he's a ma- he's the major of the Australian whatever uh, brigade or whatever and he says you know what you salute me because I outrank you, you know. Well, I, so, I don't think you oh, didn't sorry, think say sir. that. I think you just put his shirt on and say, have it, you salute me. And then probably take <laughs> it back off and th- get back on the shovel. Well, that's what the story is, is that then he said, you know, piss off. And then he took his shirt off and kept digging. <laughs> and that's kind of the story that is part of the Australian culture that we like to think that that kind of thing happens and you, everyone's in there together. Yeah. 